Hi, I'm Travis Storrow with Timberline Aerospace. We design, certify, manufacture, and provide lots of different modification kits for utility helicopter operators. We focus on the Black Hawk helicopter primarily, but we have products available for other models as well. We do in-house manufacturing of composite structures. We do in-house machining, and we kit up a couple different modifications that are required on federal contracts, such as the purge fuel collector system. And we're also working to certify a telemetry system for the UH-60. Timberline Aerospace was founded in 2018 in partnership with Timberline Helicopters. As we discovered needs in the operating fleet, we decided to design and develop fixes for those needs. We see something that's a problem area on the aircraft and we look at it and say, okay, how can we make this better? Each one of our kits serves a specific purpose, whether it's to meet a contractual obligation for firefighting, provide an environmental solution, to provide a structural fix to a problem area. And most of the projects we have in development right now are related to making utility helicopters better at their jobs. Because these are certified aircraft, they require FAA approvals, they require supplemental type certificates, and we know that if we're experiencing these same issues that the flying fleet out there could use the same fixes we've developed. The engines in the UH-60 are GET-700s and when they shut down they purge air through the fuel nozzles to prevent coking. A lot of the fuel that was in the system runs out onto the ground which creates an environmental problem. So we've developed the purge fuel collector kit to collect that fuel to be disposed of at a later time and to prevent the release of excess jet fuel into the environment. This kit meets U.S. Forest Service contract specifications and is available for the UH-60 Alpha, the EH-60 Alpha, and the HH-60 Lima. The UH-60 has a known problem area at the junction of the 34.5 beam and the 308 beam. This area is prone to cracking, especially during external load operations, so Timberline has developed a modification kit to redistribute the loads through that junction and prevent cracking. As technology advances, the U.S. Forest Service is requiring more and more information from operators. This is primarily related to event data capturing, such as where you load water, where you drop the water, how much water you loaded, uh, engine startup and shutdown, takeoff and landing events, and we've partnered with Trotter Controls to provide the additional telemetry unit data vault system. It'll be STC'd for the UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter. We're currently developing the external fixed provisions kit for the UH-60 helicopter, which will provide seven additional hard points on the belly of the aircraft. This can be used for attaching external equipment for special missions, especially firefighting and power line construction operations. The locking fuel cover kit provides an additional level of safety and security by securing the fuel cap from unauthorized access. And it's available for the H-125, the MD-500 series, and the Bell 206 series. With our in-house engineering capabilities, we're able to implement design changes quickly. As we go through different iterations of prototyping, we can both model the parts, uh, machine the parts, or build the composite parts in-house. We can do in-house testing to prove the designs, and we're able to make rapid improvements to our products. Our team of engineers, production staff, quality inspectors, machinists, and administrative staff work together to round out a team that's capable of doing just about anything. We're very confident in our capabilities because of the skills and talents that we've been able to gather together in this one small company. For more information, email info at timberlineaerospace.com or visit our website, timberlineaerospace.com.